Jada Pinkett Smith sucks. I want to talk about this. She fucking sucks. This is a this is probably gonna be a video that we're gonna clip out here. Put up. It's yeah, been I saw a year this, and a uh, year and a half. Post of, um, she posted a couple months ago of her dancing with Tupac, singing "Parents Don't Understand" by Will Smith, and uh, everyone really hated it because they thought she was trolling him. And uh, hmm, probably there were many rumors that I think she does. She, had, she hates him. She was she hates Tupac him. and stuff before him. So it just I mean, salt in the wound. What we're gonna like find out today, you'll just realize how a lot much, of people like, think she she's like a, a a complete she, sociopath and very she vindictive. Hates, she hates Will Smith. It's like not even a question. She hates him. That's what like I've realized that today. Like this is not even a question. She really generally hates him. So it's been a year and a half since the slap, you know, which was um crazy occurrence because it was it was, it was you know supposed to be a good night for Will Smith. but i mean it, again it was supposed to be a good night for will smith he, he would later win the best actor award you know, now for, he's uh, not even allowed ah uh, some slave movie oh maybe no it's for the tennis movie with the williams sisters the, the men that dress up like girls and play tennis it's like a um, transgender kind of thing like when the award, I, I always know. thought the Williams sisters had a very similar vibe to the Jacksons, where they either got abused or they were like getting shot up with hormones to make them, so. you know, like men almost. Because well, they, I think they could play fucking linebackers on the they fucking campus. These poor foreign white women for decades, just blasting like a hundred and fifty mile an hour shit where they can probably hit eighty in defense. You know, like it was just annihilation. They didn't even stand yeah, a I think chance. they're first round linebacker picks in the NFL. They went to a different. Oh sport. fuck that! I think they could play on offense. I think they, they play for a couple. Uh, you put Serena at running back, back. She's getting five yards per carry. I think they're kind of like fullbacks. You know, like they're gonna block. I rather those, her. Those I rather have her at wide receiver than Jerry fucking Judy because that gutless motherfucker is. He is. I don't no know. Imagine, effort. imagine like a. Uh, what is it? One of those Williams sisters uh, chop blocking. Oh man, that's like injury right there for any defender. Chop block as chop chop blocking as a fullback. Yeah, you would like a chop block. I mean, all it is is just taking somebody out of their chop block. block. That chop block's gonna break. Yeah, no, they're be- yeah, their chop blocks definitely better than ours. Yeah, they more they're gonna body like, strength. Hit that clip block. Let me stop. I think both thing. of us combined don't have the testosterone of one Williams sister. Oh no, uh, Serena alone. Yeah, she could probably Serena. bench both of us and eat a pile of ribs. You know. Yeah, and then also after this, we heard about the extramarital affairs that were going on with uh, Jada. How she uh, gave a blowjob and even talked about it—a blowjob <clears throat> one of yeah. Jaden um, and his son's friends. <laughs> no, that clip went around for a while. Yeah, she she had. Uh, <laughs> She said it was like uh, complicated or something, and while like he was staring at her crying, and that got me out really fucking hard. It was a complicated blowjob. Like, she was, she, yeah, she was like fucking one of uh, his friends, or like somebody who's like twenty years old or some shit. While she's you know on her deathbed, pretty much. Well, she's she's got a book out, so. Uh... That's why all this makes the rounds. She's making the rounds. She's got a book out. Will Smith's Oscar slap takes a wild turn from Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, yeah, basically because she's trying to sell a book. So there's uh, there is that. That is uh, the motivation for her, selling a book. So that's never fun. You know, you know, it's obviously like bullshit. But um, here's kind of a big revelation that has come out. This is from Twitter, where Jada says her and Will Smith have been done before the Chris Rock situation. So, And it also makes you wonder about Will Smith, like, why did he even do this? There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. It was not a divorce on paper, but it was a divorce. So from the year 2016 
which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. you all have been apart. Yeah. There are so many surprising yeah, things I mean, in the like, book. But oh, man, that's like, like, why did you still do, why did you do this slap when uh, you weren't even together? You know, like, I mean, I guess you could tell that, I don't know, this might not be his idea of not being together, so. Well, uh, I don't remember soon after this, Chris Rock went on tour for a special. No, it was a year, it was a year later. It was a year, he waited a little bit. I saw the special. It was all right. Um, here is the, the moment where he's defending Jada, who you shouldn't ever defend. Not even in court. I change him. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. G.I. <laughs> I'm going to. Wow. Dude, what did you think of the G.I. Jane joke? Uh, it wasn't a very good joke. I'll say that. I mean, that's the thing, you know, know if you're hacky and not really. Not a very funny you know, joke. Pulling off, then it's, it's easier to really get ostracized. I mean, hard. I liked Chris Rock special, but I would say I liked it, not loved it. And I'd also say he's not what he was. He He's become a little mediocre as a comedian. That kind of comes with being so rich, though. Like when you're so rich, you don't have anything to strive for. Well, it's not even that. It's like uh, half the fan base that came up with you gets ostracized and they can't even run the light anymore, you know? Yeah, and, and you can't relate though either to anyone that's like a normal person, you know. Like, I think a lot of comedians can because they never get to that level of Chris Walk frame. So, but uh, what did someone else say? Uh, Kel oh, yeah, hold on, yeah, yeah, Kel Kelsey says here, Jada's emotional abuse, which I mean, it does sound like some emotional abuse because not only has he been, you know, embarrassed by the slap situation, it's also been all this like embarrassing marital stuff you know she said how like this is exactly here most of you it's been sickening to watch if she's not telling the word world that will's never sat. she actually said this that will's never satisfied her in bed like why would you even fucking put that out there if not just to, to like try to drag this guy down and i mean i feel bad for will smith i don't even give well, a you shit know what's about. weird about it is like um you would think she want his career to be successful because she's he's got to contribute to the household i mean like they have kids i think she's you know i think she just fucking hates him i think it's, it's, so, it's just so obvious she hates him unless she's just like bitter and jealous that her career never really reached the levels that his did could be that i mean i, I think I she's mean, just fucking hates he's him. a lead in a lot of films she he's still lead wasn't he won an times, oscar but not enough to to really build like a franchise or anything even close to that. I mean, he won an Oscar at that Oscars, <laughs> so it's like it, it really should have been like a big day for him. That turned out to be like one of his worst days of all his life. I'm sure, like it should have been one of his best days, but uh, because of this bitch, no. But uh, she's bragging about cheating on him, which yeah, she talked about that with uh, cheating on Jaden Smith's friend. Um, braiding him for defense against Chris Rock, and then she figured out a way to embarrass him more with this interview in her newest book. Which I mean, who's gonna who's gonna go buy this book? Fuck you. Who's buying the Who's buying this book? What idiot goes and buys the Jada Pinkett Smith book? I really question that. Like, if if this gets the bestseller well, list, like, you're like retarded. People who liked her in film, and then people who like her as like a TV Would you like? What, what was she in that was likable in a film? Uh, Doctor Doolittle. Yeah, she's good in that. I guess so. I mean, I, I mean, I, I did in her, in her time, I did find her attractive, you know. But he not so much. Now. Not he. No. Um, set it off. Set it off yeah. is like an all black, uh, ensemble girl film where they rob a bank, and she's really good in that. That's a good movie. That's like a actual legitimate, really. Yeah, that's one of her like few movie. that I've seen a couple yeah. times, and I, it's an obvious ripoff of um, that Michael Mann shit. Um, she's, in, uh, she's in. She's uh, in Boys in the Hood. 
No, no, she's in um. No, she's not in that one. Message to society, and that's that's. Oh yeah, she is. Yep. I think what kind of got her going. Uh, she's in this movie with King Ivory Waynes, where he plays some um. Kind of, a, he's like an action hero. It's called Chain, and I've seen that movie a bunch of times just because it was on VHS, and that's all I kind of pick from. <clears throat> It's not bad. It's like a spy type of thing mixed with drug cartels and James Bond stuff. Nice. You ever see that movie? No, never seen that. Doesn't doesn't ring a bell. Shane with uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans. No, I think I've only saw his joke jokey movie movies. No, Keenan Ivory Wayans is the older brother who was more of like the direct oh. producer. <laughs> the other two brothers are younger than him. No, 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 no. I thought Keenan Ivory Wayans did the screen, um, scary movie. I thought he uh, directed it. I'm most positive on that one. No, well, he directed, but this is he starred in this movie. Oh, he was okay. like a he was like a action hero. Yeah, didn't see that one. Didn't see that one. I was white in the '90s, so still white now. But uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you're whiter than you were back then. Oh no, I'm not whiter. Come on, I'll slap you with that black. No, I think side. your whiteness is only amplified. Yeah. Well, I you mean, move away from the time period, the whiter you you're gonna get. It could be that, but I would also say, are you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? That's why? You sure it wasn't? Because after the thing that happened to me, no one could look at me without dying laughing? You sure about that? You sure about that's not why? <laughs> <laughs> you like that Men in Black? <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Ugh. Oh, that's good. Though. I don't even know the alien on the right. He's like, they're in the movie for like a minute. I think that's the same alien from um, the Return of the Jedi cantina song that they added in the special features it looks like the same alien uh, they sing a song in return of the jedi so it's gross but um here's another thing from film update jada pinka smith says she initially thought the oscar slap was a skit now i will say i remember like pro wrestlers tweeting out at the time that like oh yeah that was that was a work like they initially said like oh that was worked that was fake like that that was the biggest work that they ever saw. And I, I'm kinda like I'm on the fence on if it was or not. I don't know. It really could be. Because it helped Chris Rock with a special. You know, look at Jada Pin Tinkett Smith talking about this. Uh Will Smith still won the Oscar. He's just gets a I mean, I guess he's been embarrassed. I don't know. That's the main thing, is that he still won. Yeah. I mean, he. I don't think he's a bad actor. I'll, I'll give him that. Like, I don't think he's a bad actor. He's no, not my I, favorite. I, I, actor. Don't think he's bad. I just think um, he's got so much he, weird extracurricular shit that it's hard to really take him serious. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, I think he had better times, of course, too. Like, being in um, like he had like mega action movie type roles that I think kind of, I don't think he was bad at those. Cause I don't know. There's a lot of people that do it nowadays that aren't as likable. So I'll say like, I don't think he was bad at those roles. I mean, now time has passed. He's not getting that shit and rightfully so, but I don't think he was bad at those roles, you know, independence day, men in black, that kind of bullshit. Bad boys. I mean, bad boys was good. I liked, I liked the first two bad boys. But that movie always uh, kind of felt a little more black than those other movies. Plus, did like Independence Day. Well, it, it had a good balance of um, comedy and action to where it leaned more on just being a comedy, and the action was enough to uh, good action to qualify the genre. That's like, I mean, I'm not a big Michael Bay fan, but I, I do like those two movies. That's like I think I think no, it's I'm the only Michael Bay movies I like. But I, I feel like he knows what works and he'll, he'll get the shit done. You know. I also kind of feel like that was before he was super famous. Like he was he was still striving for something at that time. And especially like Bad Boys One, 
Like I feel like he uh, really hit the the strive of things at the moment. Oh man, I'm trying to think of this is another movie. I forget what movie it is, but there's this shootout. I, uh, maybe you'll remember it, but there's a shootout going on, and they put headphones on this little kid. I mean, oh, so I think it's Face Off. They put headphones on this little kid, and there's like somewhere over the rainbow playing while there's a shootout happening. Do you remember this? I think it's Face Off. Yeah, that seems good. That seems like a legit good action scene. No, that movie's fucking good. As much as like yeah, it, the movie's it's good, man. And it's like kind of a joke. It's goofy, it's, but it has good it's moments. Like, you know, it's it's definitely well paced and entertaining, and the performances, even though they're over the top and ridiculous, they still work really well. Yeah, it, it's not Michael Bay. That's a John Woo movie, but they're like Michael Bay, John Woo. Like, like John Woo, John Woo. Even Tarantino ripped off a ton of John Woo shit too. Well, I'd say they're kind of like Michael Bay and John Woo are kind of like. Woo is just like that motherfucker. At the time. Yeah, tomato, tomato, John Woo, Michael Bay, same kind of thing. But yeah, um, she said, um, she thought it was a skit. Which again, like I said, all these wrestlers said it was fake, and they're the first ones to, to know what looks fake and what is real. Like, I, I, I'll give them credit; they know if it's something that was faked, because it, it really did feel like faked. I mean, I remember watching it live. I mean, I was watching it live, and then. I saw everyone started to tune into it as soon as that happened. But I remember thinking, like, did that just fucking happen? Like, was that real? That was like my initial thought. Like, did that actually happen, or was that? I thought it was. I thought it was fake too. I thought it was part of the show. Uh, she says, uh, "I was like, there's no way that Will hit him." And it wasn't until Will started walking back to his chair that I realized it wasn't a skit. And the first words that came to her were. Uh, that she said to Will, "Where are you okay?" Because she doesn't care about this fucking guy. She fucking hates him. <laughs> Chris Rock. I mean, he's pretty harmless. Well, there's always been gay rumors about Will Smith, which is probably true. You got that. Well, what do you think um, Chris Rock's agenda was for bringing so much attention? Because that's really, uh, you know. I mean, I personally think they were just in the front row. They were in the front row when he made, you know, he's like, all right, I know they're in the front row. I'll bring some that, jokes. I think it was all it was. You don't think that they know the seating arrangements already and try and customize material based on who they know is going to be there? I mean, I don't know, because if that was the case, then this there is very well this was set up. And it was the case, which it could be, because you would think you would know who's going to be in what seat. So, yeah. But I don't know. I, I'm on the fence. Like, this could have been totally real or it could have been totally set up. And again, I've heard people say that the the actual slap looked fixed. The actual slap looked fake. And even if it was, like, real contact, you know, like, like the thing of wrestling, like, even if it was real contact with a slap, you still couldn't know it was going to happen. You know, and, like, react a certain way. Like, you know, like, you could, re- like, even look at his face here. You could have, like, set this up where you knew it was coming and give that face. So I don't know. I don't know. Also, it's like, even Will Smith, he doesn't strike me as a person who would even do this. It just feels so out of character. 